Rock, 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 barrel on the track, boy. All right, so this is just a little bit of a, you know, think outside the box uh, when it comes to finding electronics. Um, remote controls have a circuit board in them. I had somebody ask where I find my circuit boards and stuff. Remote controls have them. Uh, a lot of keyboards have them. Um, of course, cell phones have them. Computers have them. Most vacuum cleaners have a circuit board in them now. Uh, coffee makers. Um, just just about everything out there has a, a at least one circuit board in it. Um, a big flat screen TV is going to have, uh, on average, anywhere from like two to eight, depending upon what type of the flat screen it is and how big it is. Um, so there's... You know you just gotta look you just gotta take your time uh, to figure it out and I mean you can even get super crazy like uh, this is key fobs so this is your remotes um, for your you know to lock and unlock your doors and start your vehicle and stuff like that so you pop those open and and there's there's little circuit boards in here and then not all of them look like these these are coated in gold uh, a lot of them are not coated in gold. It's more of your high dollar ones that are going to be co coated in gold. But as you can see, you've got right here, you've got a uh, IC chip. I am um, not sure what that is. It might be a crystal oscillator. It's kind of weird looking. Um, but a lot of people are not going to take the time to take this apart. And I understand it's small. Um, it's not that much on there. But the ones that are coated in gold, if you like to go after gold or you know a refiner that you can sell this to to get the gold off of it, um, they may split the gold with you 30-70 or 50-50 or whatever that they get off of there and they'll refine it for you. You just feed it to them, you know, feed them the, the stuff so they can refine it. But you can pull that IC chip off and then you can toss this, toss this over in the liquid to dissolve the gold off of it. And uh, and recover that gold yourself. I mean, here's a, here's another one. It's a decent IC chip. I mean, it's not huge, but they add up. But look at all the gold that's on there. Look at the gold on the other side. Same thing. You see all the gold spots on there. It's got a decent size IC chip you can pull off. Some more gold plating and where all the buttons are there's more gold plating so you know think outside the box you don't know i mean if you're gonna throw your key fob away because it quit working or well, maybe you want to pop that thing open and look inside of it and see if there's anything in there that you want um a lot of places will take what's left as a uh, shred because they're gonna run it through a shredder most of your boards have some copper inside of them because that's what they use to connect your your different spots and it's laminated so it's sheets of uh, I can't remember what the substance is called uh, but the coppers in there between them so there's still some value there inside of most of them not all but most so key fobs don't count them out next for y'all that are diabetic. Now you gotta be kind of careful with this. It does have a needle. Uh, you probably don't wanna run around and take everybody's little diabetic uh, thingy. Uh, but if you have somebody in your family that uses these, there's gold in here. So this is what it looks like when they get it. And they twist it and pop it open. That piece right there is glued to the bottom but um anyway up here normally holds the little disc and stuff get you in camera 
Um, and they take them and they just press it on, press down on the arm, and the sleeve slides in, and it puts that little disc onto their arm, and it sticks to the arm, and it's good for a week, two weeks, a month, depending on which ones they get. And uh, yeah, so there's not much in here. I mean, I'm sure you could throw this in shred if you want. I can see a big spring there, and and whatnot. But that little disc, this little disc right here, and as you can see, there's no needle. I grabbed it with pliers and ripped it off. And it's not that it's a big needle, it's a little wire one. But this is the disc that sticks to their arm. Can you see the gold that's in there? So you can pop these open, pull that battery out, and toss this over into the into the solution with these that we just talked about and you can recover the gold off of both of them at the same time um, now you're not gonna get rich doing this not by any means uh, not unless you're doing like thousands of them a day but it's it's fun to play with and it's fun to learn uh, however, it is some nasty acids and stuff that have to be used. I would recommend sending this stuff to somebody that's knowledgeable and does this stuff on a regular. Um, because if you do it wrong, you won't be around to reap the rewards. Um, some of these reactions put off uh, fumes and gases that will kill you, your kids, your dogs, uh, your neighbor, whatever. Uh, depending on what scale you're doing it at and uh, that's one reason why I don't I don't really mess with it I've played with it in the past just to learn the process because I like to learn and then once I learned it I was like well that's uh that's enough for me it takes too much time um, and I don't have the patience to wait and heat stuff and stir it and you know um, but yeah so you, you always have to think outside the box I mean you can run across electronics and anything uh, that's just about anything that's out there this day and age has got a board in there and Unless you open it up and look and see what's on that board. You don't know um, It could be an EEPROM on that board. They're worth quite a bit um, It can be crystal oscillators on the board um, Flat packs I see chips I mean, you just never know. So you have to open it up and see what it's what's in there. See if it's something you want to fool with or not. Or if you just want to toss it into the shred pile as it is. Um, but a lot of this stuff, you can take off what you want and mail these little boards to somebody who does the refining. And they'll get that golden stuff off of there and give you something for it. So just wanted to share that with y'all. Um... You just never can tell what may or may not have a circuit board in it and what may or may not be on that circuit board until you take the time to open it up and look and see. So I hope this helps y'all. I'm trying to go through components that I have laying around uh, that have been laying around for a while. But just to show y'all some of the different components. So if, it's, if you're interested in actually doing this stuff and want to know where to find them, then you'll have the information that you need to be able to find that stuff. So I hope everybody's had a great day and a good week, and uh, we'll see y'all next time.